but in reality, I'll take my best take. Probably looks like it's this one. Turn it up to about four. Then turn the secondary take down to about ten, negative ten. Also, I'm gonna hit all. And click on these uh, envelopes up here. You don't have to. I just do it. I don't know. It's been a bad habit. It'll set it up for negative six. I always just bring them all down to negative six. That's why I bumped that up to four. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Just fool with your volume. Make sure you get the sound right. Okay. So I'm taking another preview of it. Okay, so it sounds a lot better right now, but it's still far, far from home. Alright, so what I do next is I will mute every track except for the first one. Well, the, the main one anyway. Just to make sure it levels right. Baby, let me turn you on. Go ahead, take off your clothes. When I finish, baby, you can get blown. Okay, so we were a little too loud on there. I turned it down to about 2.8. Then I'm going to unmute the uh, secondary track. Baby, let me turn you on. Go ahead, take off your clothes. When I finish, baby, you can get blown. Let me turn you on. Let me rub you down. I ended up taking that. Try to get it between negative six from the first one. That's how I like to do it. I like to be able to hear it, but not have it overpower everything. And I'm going to my uh, one of my overdub sets. Hey, baby, let me turn you on. Go ahead, take off your clothes. Instantly, I turned that down to negative ten because. It was too loud to begin with anyway. Hey, baby, let me turn you on. Go ahead, take off your clothes. When I finish, baby, you can get low. Let me turn you on. I actually took it down to negative 12.3 on both of those. I'm going to my uh, off-pitch, off-key singing melody notes. And I already know right off rip I'm going to have them at least negative 15. At least. With that being said, we're going to do that and preview it. See where we're at here. Hey. Baby, let me turn you on. Go ahead, take off your clothes. When I finish, baby, you can get blown. Let me turn you on. Let me rub you down. Let me know I really want. Okay, so just listening to it, I think I want my chorus, the main take, to be a little thicker. So I'm actually gonna take that negative 25. Oh, I'm gonna tan it negative 25 and positive 25, and I'm gonna take them probably match them at zero. Let's see how that sounds. Yeah. Hey. Baby, let me turn you on. Go ahead, take off your clothes. When I finish, baby, you can get low. Let me turn you on. Let me rub you down. Baby, no one really wanna fuck right now. Let me turn you on. Baby, let me turn you on. Baby, let me turn you on. Okay, so that doesn't sound too bad. Uh, I'm actually gonna run into the uh, the main takes. I'm gonna throw a little reverb on them. Just give them a thicker sound. Not too much reverb, probably about 16%. Yeah, hey, baby, let me turn you on. Go ahead, take off your clothes. When I finish, baby, you can get blown. Let me turn you on, let me rub you down. Baby, no one really wanna fuck. Go to my overdubs and probably gonna throw a little echo on them. Like, everything after this is all just what you what type of sound you're going for. Your main objective is to get your voice over the beat but not have it overpowering the beat. You want every word and every syllable to be heard correctly, which is why we compress it. Like I said, after that, it's pretty much all your ear, like the type of sound you want to hear. Turn you on, off your clothes, we can get blow, on, down, I like the way that echo sounded. Baby, let me turn you on, go ahead, take off your clothes When I finish, baby, you can get blown Let me turn you on, let me rub you down Baby, no one really wanna fuck right now Let me turn you on I would probably run a little, uh, graphic EQ on the, uh, main takes Probably just use a preset, probably won't make much of a difference so for the people out there that used to use Cool Edit, that switch over to Adobe Audition, probably still have Cool Edit. After I get here, I'm gonna save it, save as obviously. I'm just throw it on my desktop for uh, a tutorial. 
Tough folks, whatever, that's fine. We're gonna save that. And we're done with the fishing. Because I only do this when I'm absolutely completely done with the whole track. Save it, mix it down, everything. Bring open my uh, cool edit. I go to um, filters. Craft EQ. I use the Premaster EQ setting for this. It's part of my mastering process of what we're at now. We mix it down and everything. Now we're mastering. So, next, I take the uh, take it into DirectX. Most of you guys probably won't have this. Um, I use a Waves L2 plugin, which actually takes the uh, B. It, it's, it's a compressor. I mean, you can use a compressor for it. I just kind of got used to using this. Normally, it's got a negative A, zero. Baby, you can turn you on, go ahead and take off your clothes when I finish, baby. What that does is just kind of, well, compresses it, obviously. You can see what it does. Bam, kicks it up. That's as loud as I can get without peeking. I want to push a little bit more though. Hit it with a master request. I like dancing in the red. I don't like staying in there, but I like dancing in there. So then after I do that, I go to noise reduction, click pop eliminator. Constant hiss and I find all levels. For the sake of the video and time constraints, I'm not gonna let this.